In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Flutter Launcher Icons. This package enables you to automatically generate the launcher icon of your app, which you can see on the home screen on Android or iOS. As you can see here, this is the simple app we're going to build today, where you usually have this kind of launcher icon, and today we're going to change it to this one here. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter Launch Icons package. Click on here to copy it to your clipboard, then in your pubspec.yaml file, this time not underneath dependencies, but rather under dev dependencies, paste it in here. And currently with this version, at this current point in time, it doesn't work. So what I had to do was getting a pull request from a different Git account, which fixes this bug, which currently gives an error when you try to use this package. Usually when you run this normally with this here, then you get some kind of format exception invalid number. So what I did instead was go to the repository. Then once you're there, you're normally under the code tab, go to the pull request tabs and then fix the min SDK error. And then you can click on here to get to this GitHub page. This person was kindly enough to fix this bug for us. So all you have to do is copy this URL and then very important. So you can delete this actually, don't need it. And then one line under it, make sure that it's indented. You write git colon and then the URL and then you should run pubget. Then another thing you still have to do here in the pubspec.yaml file at the root indentation here, you can write flutter icons colon and then here you can define some custom properties. So for example, where you can find your new icon you want to use. In this case, I used assets icon icon.png but I'm going to show you in just a bit how to do this. Concerning some other parameters you can define here. So iOS true means that it should generate also the icon for iOS and the name it should give for example for Android. If you want to know more about these parameters, you can go to the pub website and here there's a heading called attributes. Here you can see what other kinds of attributes you can use. So I kept this very simple. And as mentioned here, we have this image path with our new icon for using this. You also have to go on the Flutter here, further down in the pubspec.yaml file and uncomment this line and then write this here, assets forward slash icon forward slash. Then in your root project directory, create a new folder called assets. Within this assets folder, create a new folder called icon. And within this icon folder, put in your icon. And in my case, it's simply a PNG. It's 512 pixels by 512 pixels. Make sure it doesn't have any transparency in it because it doesn't work otherwise on iOS. And one last thing we have to do for the setup, which I've wrote here for your convenience, you have to copy this and then go to your terminal. In this case, in Android Studio, we have the terminal here and then you paste it in here and then press enter to run it. So then it will create the default icons for Android, for iOS, and then it will say successfully generated launcher icons. Then concerning our app, all I did was creating a simple Flutter app and within this Flutter app, we have a scaffold and the body just contains the centered image asset, which is the icon. And then when you run this, of course, it will launch this app, but if you go to the home screen, you can see now that it generated or it shows the new icon you chose. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, this bug with the current version is fixed. So the last time this package got updated was eight months ago. So hopefully you're on a newer version where this is fixed so that you don't have to use this extra git pull request. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in the comments and thank you for watching.